Matthias Schwab, the young Austrian here. This goes in at a fair pace, I'll tell you. Eagle to move to minus five. Now, Matthias Schwab. Same hold, but perfect drive. And a lovely angle into this flag. Expect this to be close, because he does. Like throwing darts, isn't it? Yeah. Especially after last week. Matthias Schwab now. This should turn from right to left. Also downhill and also very quick. Oh, looking good. Damn. Yeah, he's a great young player. Oh, that's gone on a bit. Yeah, that's right. You're quite right there. Schwab for his par at the force to stay at five under. Yes, just. No drop shots today for Matthias Schwab. He's starting at the 10th. 2T start the first two days. Schwab at six. One bunker up the left. That used to be uncarryable in the days of yore. Now. Matthias Schwab, his second shot to this par four, the sixth hole. Pin cut in the front, quite close to the right hand bunker. A, a wood and an iron, hard to, to reel back. Early attempt for Matthias Schwab. At the sixth hole. You were right at the top of the show box. It's simply a matter of time, isn't it? Now, don't try this at home. The second shot of Schwab. The reason is because you have to, you would have to put it through the fringe. That's a beautiful shot. Not even a divot. A little bit uphill, Dale, that as well. Not, not greatly, but a little bit. That certainly is. Especially down the left-hand side. Oh. Schwab, ooh, just catching the right edge of the hole, but that is a really, really good par. He's going to be very pleased getting it up and down. If you're able to hit it with a little draw, aim it at that, the last bunker on the right-hand side, and just turn it a little from right to left, just like that. Only round green on the golf course. When they read this hole a number of years ago, used to have a clover leaf green out right. Then they built this green. It's a better hole, but completely round. So different to the other 17. Up ahead at the green, Schwab to try and join the lead. That's a good try. Good try. It really was. No drop shots for Schwab. One hole left to play. He's sort of the quiet man of the tour, isn't he, Boxy? He is, but he, you know, if you look at his eye, I don't know whether we're going to get a shot of his eyes here, but as I said earlier, he's got that like that thousand yard stare. Yes. And um, <laughs> he wouldn't want to owe him money, if you know what I mean? <laughs> Bunker on the right hand side of this fairway. You need to avoid, and that is, could not place the ball better than that. 13th he was last week in the Alfred Dunhill, so he had a pretty good week last week. Yeah, you're so right, Neymar. Uh, he's got a, he revels in the game. It's fun. Schwab, this is as perfect a tee shot as you can have. He'll be taking dead aim, and he's pretty darn accurate with his irons. Sure, he was trying to bounce him in there, but it's worked well. These conditions. I think 72, you might be a little disappointed. Yeah. I think you'd have felt, especially the front nine. You know, there were a lot of scores well under par on that front nine, and that is a good. Oh. No. Surely that's going to drop. Wow. Well, a par to finish for Matthias Schwab, and that's a fine 67. 
Cheers, well played. Um, how would you assess your very good start to the SA Open out here at Sun City? I think it was a pretty good round. Um, Chris, uh, who I played with, got off to a great start and I managed to kind of try and hop on his back and, and, and try, you know, keep up with him. So uh, we had a nice front nine or first 10, 11 holes going. Um, and then it got a little bit windy um, and we kind of just kept the score together. I, uh, I had a few good looks coming in, but wasn't able to make any of those, but still it was overall a good day. Yeah, you eagled the first hole, it was your your 10th. Can you just talk us through that, that please? Yeah, it was nice. I came off uh, a nice uh, birdie on uh, my ninth hole of the day and then hit a good drive, hit a good four into, uh, let's say 18 feet and then hold the, uh, hold the putt. So uh, it was a pretty straightforward eagle. So that was nice for me. Nice. Um, and no bogeys on the card. That's, uh, that, that always pleases you guys, eh? Yeah, exactly. It's nice to be bogey free. I've had some issues with, uh, with just uh, avoiding errors in the last few months, I'd say. So it's, it's nice for me to see that I can still play uh, pretty, uh, pretty okay and nice golf. Uh, bogey free is always great. Um, and um, yeah, it was overall a very good day. In terms of the test that this layout offers, which areas of your game need to be on in order to put a decent number together out there? I think the driving is very important, or just the tee balls in general, um, to, to get it in play. And then uh, depending if you hit the fairway or rough, it's a little bit tricky. You need to, you need to be good at assessing your lie in the rough and, and then make, make good decisions uh, depending on if the ball will jump or, or come out dead. Um, it's, it's quite difficult to make a good judgment, but um, I think that's very important this week. Fantastic, thank you. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.